What's up guys, so today I got my blowgun with me right here and uh, we're going to be doing some hunting in the creeks today. So I'm down here at the creek right now, it's pretty dry as you can see. There's like barely any water, but this is the first time I've actually, I'm actually going to explore this creek, so I'm pretty excited to see what we can find here. Um, not just really hunting, just kind of scouting around, see if we can find some good trapping spots for this year's trapping season too. I'm just going to walk around with my blowgun, see if we can spot anything, maybe get some frogs or some minnows or something, and just have a good time out in the woods. I find some water here. Little hole, I can see some frogs. There's a super small one right there, but he's way too small to even eat, so... God, I found some more water up here. I'm sure there's got to be some frogs. Oh, there goes a duck. Or some baby heron. Probably scared away all the frogs. Well, it looks like I hit a dead end to this creek, goes across these railroad tracks into someone else's property, so I guess that's as far as I can go upstream. Looks like there used to be an old bridge right here a while ago. Okay, so nothing too exciting has happened today while walking down this creek. I've had a pretty good time walking down it, but just nothing's really happened to film much of it. So I'm going to send you guys over to me three days ago checking some groundhog traps I set um, because the groundhogs were getting in the soybeans again, so here you go. So I'm at the first trap right now, and we don't exactly have our target animal. So we got us a raccoon in this trail coming out. I figured this would just be groundhogs because there's a pond up there, and it's just all these weeds in here with a bunch of holes. I guess raccoons might be living in here. There's not really soybeans right here, but there's corn out there, so that's probably where he was going to. I thought there was, I thought this would be a groundhog. I'll reset all these later. We'll just check them all real quick. See, there's another trail right there. I got my conibear right there on the trail. Nothing in that one. And we do have something in this one. And it is another raccoon in this conibear trail. What? Oh, he's all bloated. He's been, he got caught last night. Ugh, that's nasty. I'm really hoping we don't just catch a bunch of stinking raccoons here. Because that's not my goal. I mean, it's still good to get the raccoons out. They eat a lot of the sweet corn, but I'm really going after groundhogs right now. Oh man, I, here's my two life traps. We, oh what, they're both set off. It did rain last night and I had those traps on a hair trigger. So I wonder if the rain actually set them off. Oh, I think we got something right here. Yeah, that's what we're after right there. Nice groundhog, pretty small one coming out on this trail. You can see how much of the beans are eating right here, all the way up on the, along these weeds. All right, so far we got two coons and a groundhog. Nux trap, oh my gosh, we got another groundhog. Woo! Look at that. Another trail. That is awesome. Two groundhogs down. Alright, we got like 10 more traps along here. Yep, we got something else. That is an odd looking groundhog. You guys, I don't know if you can tell us on camera. There's like, he's like furless. There's just like no fur up that way, and all this fur right here is really short. Nothing right here. And See the next one, we got something. Looks like another raccoon. What? I can't believe there's that many raccoons here. All right, I lost count already. That's like three groundhogs and three raccoons. Another groundhog. Make that four groundhogs. Oh, we got a lot of traps to reset. Four groundhogs so far, I think. We got a few more traps. Here's one of the foothold traps and we did get a groundhog in it. This is not the last trap in this location. Little guy. Oh, he's dead. What? How did he die? That's the second time this year I've had a groundhog die in one of my foothold traps. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all these traps reset. And we still got one more location with about, you know, maybe six or seven more traps. I'm sure we got some more groundhogs, so we'll be checking those right after I get these traps reset. Alright, I got those traps reset and I'm at the next location right now. I already checked the first two traps and there was nothing in them. So I'm at the third trap of this location and we got a nice looking groundhog right in the 160 conibear on this trail. 
And you guys might recognize the spot from last time I trapped groundhogs. We caught a load of them here. That was when I broke the, my personal record of um, groundhogs trapped in one day, which was 12. 12 groundhogs in one day. Looks like I didn't get all of them and I'm having to come back here and trap some more of them trying to get them. Checking a bunch of empty traps. Looks like I did a pretty good job last time because we're not getting any ground any more groundhogs on really good spots. Oh come on man. Here's my other foothold trap, the only foothold at this location. And it looks like something got to him before I did. Oh that is nasty. Well at least we got another groundhog. Good catch on the foothold right there, but some ate it. Looks like we missed one right here. Missed one at this hole. Oh, are you serious? What was I thinking, man? I forgot to take the safeties off this one. Oh, come on. We would have had a groundhog there for sure. Whoa. Okay. We had a smart groundhog right here. So you can see, there's a hole right back there. Trail's coming right here, but it's all dug out right here. That was a smart one. He knew there was a trap right there. That is pretty crazy, because yesterday when I set this, it was all flat. And we are coming up to the last trap of the day. And, oh, we got us a groundhog. Yes. Sweet, man. I'm in another 160 on this trail with poison ivy everywhere. All right, I'm going to have to get all these reset. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys today's catch. We ended up doing pretty good today. We got a total. We ended up getting three raccoons and eight groundhogs, including the one that got eaten. So not a bad day at all.